I mean, like, okay, we, were, we, we haven't reached a conclusion yet. Yep. They've launched this um, podcast mm-hmm. and the platform for the podcast. The BB, the BB, 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 BC. They've got a series of podcasts and they've got their own platform mm-hmm. for the podcasts. And so the question is, how does that material appear on other platforms yes. that most people are already listening to? Right. Okay, that's interesting. And if it doesn't, mm. is the great British public prepared to uh, come off those other platforms mm. and go on to the exclusively BBC podcast system? But isn't that controlled? Well, it's sort of controlled. I mean, they would say it's balanced and open. But then the question comes up, what sort of opinions are allowed on their system? Well, we take, for instance, the wonderful programme we're on, this is a Phonic FM programme? Yes, the Phonic FM is called the... OK, um, yes. What was it called? Oh, well, I'm on two programmes. Oh, what's yes. today? Today's a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, today's Wednesday, but I'm not on the We Not Now show. Yes. Because uh, it's it's not... This uh, Next week. Yes. Next week I'm on that, and last week I was on it. But I'm not on it this week. <laughs> but but tomorrow, tomorrow it'll be a Thursday. <laughs> yes. And so I will be on the Wild Show. Yes. So ten, 10 to 12, following FM, right. in both cases. Right. So, this, that particular programme, we do spread it about a bit. We, used to we try to spread it yes. about a bit, right. which we should get back to somehow. Yes. But, uh, so, we've given permission to, that, to go that way. That goes on Access All Aerials and Spreaker. Yes. S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. OK, boss. Got OK, that. Spreaker. <laughs> and they, they are in, they're based in the United States. <laughs> and they, uh, well, it's also the case, we do it through Access All Aerials. Yeah. Access All Aerials have an arrangement with the Performing Rights yeah. Society. Yeah. I think I've got their name right. <laughs> and so that all seems fine. Yeah. And anyway, I think Spre- in New York they talk to each other. Yeah. And um, <laughs> the Warner Brothers, the Universal, and the other one, the Sony ones, yeah. all those people are talking to each other. Yeah. If there was any problem, I'm sure Spreaker <laughs> would have <laughs> sorted it out by now. Okay. That's our honest belief, Gov. Well, that's what I'm talking about. It's that, it's that situation where the BBC, I, uh, I think they should spread it about as well. They'd be allowed to spread it about to people. Yes. Because if you got, if I went on there and I um, and I said something, mm. you see, I would really want a copy of it. Yeah. You would want your copy of I it. I want my copy of it. Yes. I shouldn't be charged for anything at all because you're already paying fees to the Well, you would think, yeah. There's a law which yeah. says you have to have a licence. Yes. Yeah. And we're all subjects, really. We're not citizens here in the UK, are we? That'd be good. good question. Why do you need licences? That's. What is the thing? Well, OK. Well, the, BB- the BBC needs an income. We'll put it like that. Do they need That's the question. Well, I think they could be more productive yes. with a bit more imagination because um, if they did make all their content available, what was his name? Greg Dyke. I think Greg Dyke, who was who was he was a, he was the supreme being before the last one, before the last one. Mm-hmm. At some point, he was talking about an archive. He was going to make an archive available and allow the public to repurpose it. We could all curate our own archive. Yeah, that was a very, that. that was a very good idea. Yeah. But then they decided to um, get another channel. Mm. I think it's called UK something or another, mm. and make all the archive available to them, mm. and describe it as a worldwide operation. So because it was a worldwide operation, they could have a different commercial policy towards it than they would have within the UK, although it's called... I'm making this up, JD. Uh, If I was on air, I would immediately consult the Wikipedia and be sure of my facts. But anyway, I wonder if we could get Greg Dyke on the show, or in this cafe. Sorry, I find this very funny. It's like a Morecambe and Wise. Well, yes, yes. Moving towards a conclusion then, mm-hmm. I'd like to go back to the BBC because um, I am 70 yeah. and I have a five-year plan. A five-year plan? A five-year plan okay. to be 75. Really? That's my, my intention, is that in five well, years' time I'll I will be 75. I'll give you 2%, two, two for that one. 2%. You think it's a 2% chance of me <laughs> two percent chance. completing my plan? <laughs> okay, well that's fair enough. 
But um, I find it very worrying now that um, the BBC possibly will not be offering me a completely free access to their, to their content. Well, I think because they're short of money and they believe they need all the money. Right, OK. Um, but what I'd, what I'd like to do is suggest to them that they don't need quite as much money because if they worked with the audience, mm -hmm. the audience could contribute something. Yes. And I am prepared to curate their archive. Really? All, I, all I need is a password and a user ID, <laughs> access, to the, it, sir. I, access to the archive, <laughs> and um, I can work out several shows mm. built on um, interviewing my friends or anybody I meet um, and mixing it with the BBC archive and coming up with completely new stuff. Okay, but well, is this going to be worth it in the long run? Well, yes, I think so. I think so. You're gaining from it. What will I gain from it? Mm. Well, if the BBC accept my idea, mm. I will have access to the archive. Mm. They will get some very cheap stuff mm. late night on BBC Four on Friday <laughs> evening to start with. So I only need about um, five hours of their schedule at this time, <laughs> right. and then gradually. Various other people who have managed to make it to 75 will find that editing becomes much, much easier. There probably will be a voice-activated editing system, and you say, yes, I would like 40% um, from Top of the Pops. We will have a, a, an arrangement with Black Entertainment Television, so I'll probably have a lot of Soul Train there as well. <laughs> Mr. Ed Sullivan, I'm sure, we're, can we ask him directly? Whoever controls the Ed Sullivan archive uh, will have come to an arrangement because we will have um, sold the rights through, through New York. Whoever it is from Spreaker is going to complain about our, our uploads to them of stuff we possibly shouldn't have uploaded, which hasn't happened yet. But whoever comes back, we'll talk to them as well. And I, I think it's all very exciting. I've got an easy option. Say again? I've got an easier option for you. What, what is the easier option? You can, you can live with somebody who's got a TV license. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you think all the... All, and then all, you, you, you think it for the rest of your life. You think, so you think actually what the fate of all the old people, the people over 75, they would have to find somebody under 75 to live with. Not as now, people under 75 well, wanting to live with people, in, somebody in who's got run, a free TV license. In the long run, it's a pretty good idea. Right. Because then they get old. Yeah. They're not on the road, so they, they don't put it on services. Oh, I see. So trying to make it cheap all around. Right. And whatever you save on services, you can give it to the BBC yeah. for, for their television. Well, yeah, OK, so... You've got to just... just well, yes, I don't, I don't think people over 75 or anybody should live by themselves indefinitely or all the time. And so whatever the reason yeah. is... Well, I'm able to. You're able to? <laughs> well, you don't live by yourself. You don't. Um, but my, my choice is not to no. suggest the thing, see, because um, you can help each other. That's so, true. So, if you're trying to save money, yep. one TV licence to a five of you is pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah? That's reasonable. And in, in a house where I can watch Noddy, or my, my one, right. and somebody else can watch something else on their time, it's, it's all covered. Right. Well, okay, so we're now, we're now in a phase, a situation where some people are prepared to live with somebody over 75 because at least there's one free TV licence. But we may later move into a situation where people over 75 want to live with somebody under 75 because they can't afford the TV licence. So that would be a different, but at the same time, much the same. Mm, I think that's the, the answer to it, is that is that if we support the older people mm. in situations where it would be better off for them, mm. and one thing is that older people do tend to watch more television, yes. because they their, their movement or whatever, yes. um, then um, to save money, uh, we could uh, move them in with other younger people, yes. and support the younger people to look after the older people, yes. and all the services that we have will be less of a strain. Right. So therefore we might save in... See, this, I've got it all sussed out. It's all sussed out. I'm now the new Prime Minister. <laughs> so that would work. Yes. That would work. It will work, because then everybody's working together. 
at the moment we're all working separately. Right. So therefore that's why you can't get your television bases, because you're working separately. Okay. So if you work with the family members, right. and say, look, it's all in your name. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our patron, it's all in your name. Right. <laughs> well, um... Okay, JD. Well, look, just before we stop, I, I, I would just let you know that I'm, I'm working on a new script. Because if we could find just a few more people to join us, yes. we could have a, a, a TV show based on <laughs> fairly old people who, who sit in coffee shops. So it would be completely different to any other series that the BBC or anybody else has... What do uh, you call it? Well, I don't know. Last, last of the latte. How about that? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll stop there. Because we've reached an agreement on yeah, something. We have, <laughs>